I love the script when I first read it. Um, it was, um, for me, a high concept show because there hadn't been a show uh, that dealt with this subject matter before. So I usually do more mundane shows, but this was uh, shows with more mundane concepts. But this show was definitely a high concept in the in the in the setup and the relationship in the show. Max and David did the majority of the early work in the casting, but I, I was around for the final choices. I, uh, I came in on uh, uh, the audition. They had a Will and Grace they liked, and uh, uh, I liked the Will. I was I, I thought we could do better with the Grace, and so we had a final audition at my house, in. Uh, and brought three actresses in, and the last actress was uh, Deborah Messing. And you knew the way Deborah and Eric read together that they were Will and Grace. It's one of the, you know, four or five pilots I've done where uh, the reaction was through the roof. You knew right away that uh, there was something special about this show and something special about the relationship at the center of the show and the ancillary characters. And in my mind, it was just a question of, if it was, was there a way to sell this to America? That was through the roof and the show was through the roof. And uh, I knew there was something special here that the boys had written. Just working with the cast and uh, working with the writers and uh, the, uh, the jokes and the situations. It was different for me and I felt very comfortable here. And so I, it was great for me to be able to go to work and just have the greatest time in the world. You work something until it, it works. I, I rehearse it until it works and these actors are so skilled that it doesn't take much rehearsal. They, they're very comically oriented and know uh, and, and they know what's funny and it just makes me look great because they're so good. When we did the pilot of uh, Cheers and George Wendt came through the door and uh, uh, Coach said uh, what do you know and, and George said not enough and I got a big laugh so then it became incumbent upon us on Cheers every time George came through the door as Norm, you had to do, you had to do a joke and it, it became harder and harder. So every time Shawnee comes in the door, you have to invent an, a new way for that to happen. But if you have an actor as skilled and as, um, uh, as, as and a physical comic like Sean is, it's, it's, it's real easy to find stuff. I like to say that this show, this show is a fairy tale, literally and figuratively. I mean, you have four characters who are um, a little bit of a fantasy. You know, it's a little, uh, it's a little hyper reality on this show. So w that hyper reality leads to innocence on the on the uh, uh, in storytelling and stuff like that. They. They, we, we have euphemisms for uh, parts of the body that you can't say on television, and we find that the euphemisms are funnier than the actual words. So there's always been this hyper-reality to this show that makes it, makes it innocent. When you're dealing with Will and Grace, it's probably the most real part of the show. So you have to make sure that uh, it's not anger that's being thrown between the actors, it's frustration. Because anger is something that's the enemy of comedy. So you have to be, you know, you have to be careful. They, you know, they say some tough things to one another, but if you say a tough thing with an angry attitude, it makes it so the audience will go back up and, and not be empathetic with the characters. So you have to be careful in all their fights because they've had a lot of fights. They've had you know, many 
you know, many, including, you know, when Will came out to Grace and uh, all, all they're, they're all fight, but they are, they are these fights that you know they love one another. And that's underneath everything. So you forgive them for their frustration, but if they got angry, you wouldn't like that. When we did the pilot, uh, it, was, um, it was a huge hit with the audience here. Uh, you know, we did a, uh, we were concerned about whether it would appeal to America. And so we have, uh, we have, uh, we have Will and Grace kiss at the end of the pilot. Uh, and, you know, we all thought about doing that just as a way to say that maybe one day Will will take the magic pills and you become straight, which we knew would never happen. But we figured if we could get people to watch and think that might happen, uh, a, a section of the, uh, of the population, not, not, not the entire population, that once they saw how funny the show was, then they would forget about that. And it seems to have worked. I mean, that was, uh, that was important point selling. The other important point was at that point, uh, I, I, wanted, I talked to the network about making sure that the show was programmed or scheduled in a place where it didn't have to prove itself right away because I knew there was no reason to watch this show. There was no star on the show. There was, the concept was a little iffy, and, it, it, you know, so I, I, I didn't want us to have a lot to prove. So luckily they scheduled us at 9.30, uh, but I don't remember behind what show, so that we didn't have a lot to prove then. We didn't have to open an hour and stuff like that. So I knew that if, and if we were given enough time, enough people would watch the show and start to tell other people about the show. Because in television it takes a while. Word of mouth takes a while. It's not in the movies where it happens all, all quickly in a week. This, it takes a while in television to, uh, to build an audience. It's funny. It's a funny show. It's, it's a heartwarming show. It's a different show. There's no show like it on the air. And uh, maybe it's, you know, it's not a reunion because all the kids, all the cast looks the same. So it's not this reunion where you do a show like 10 years after the show went off the air and everybody's different. Everybody kind of looks the same. So I think it's an easy segue from the original to this. So we'll see. I don't know. I hope America buys us, and I hope America wants to see more of this hysterically funny show.